Hey, what's up homies, Hugh Fragman here. Welcome to another fragrance video. Today I got a special surprise for y'all. I finally ordered my first fragrance bottle from Imaginary Authors. And you're gonna be surprised, I mean, not if you read the thumbnail or anything like that, but I did actually did not get Memoirs of a Trespasser. I actually went with Falling into the Sea. And people who watched that last video probably asked saying, uh, Hugh, well, what are you thinking? I'm pretty sure you said you're gonna get Memoirs of a Trespasser. It's gonna be your first bottle and you'd be right. But I do live in Texas and I still strongly think Memoirs of a Trespasser is more of a winter fragrance. And since it's starting to warm up here, I wanted to get something that I thought I could wear a little bit more and feel more comfortable wearing out in public. And of course, what I decided to do was to blind buy from a niche company known for serving a bunch of different audiences and stuff like that. So I wanted to get something fresh. I had already tried St. Julep. I love that fragrance, but my biggest issue with it is it did not perform. And that sucks because it smells so good. So I went through reviews. I, I went through just watching a bunch of YouTube videos just like I do on a daily basis. And it was torn. I was torn between Sun Drunk and Falling Into The Sea. And I ultimately went with Sun, with a, blah, not Sun Drunk, Falling Into The Sea but I decided I'd at least get a little sample vial so I could see what people were talking about. Um, and then I also got a travel atomizer of yesterday's haze because I heard that one was really popular as well. And I did not have it in my short story collection for some reason. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to first impressions go through each one of these. I'm gonna save the bottle for last because I absolutely love it. I have opened them, but I have not sprayed them yet. And I, I, don't, I only know a little bit about the nose. So we're gonna start with Sun Drunk. I know this one has a rhubarb note, which I think is a criminally underrated fragrance note. I wish companies would use it a lot more. A uh, point of reference would be something like Lacoste Loam, or um, I think it's Loam Extreme, or Loam Intense. I used to have that one. I gave it away as a birthday present, but it's very, very good, and I recommend you check it out. But let's go ahead and check this out. I think it's a mix of the rhubarb and citruses, but let's just see. I'm gonna put it on skin. Okay, just do one, I don't wanna waste it. Oh, let me spray one more time. Get a good whiff of that. Wow, so it's actually not as um, interesting. I do smell that rhubarb. It's actually a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be. It's not as, I mean, it's citrusy, but it's not like, it's not, eff it's a little effervescent, but it's not what you usually expect. It's, it's, it's like effervescent orange in a sense is what I'm getting. I don't think there's orange in this fragrance. That must be the rhubarb. But it smells nice. It's different. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't go with it as a um, as a full bottle scent. But it's nice. It's so far it's not too bad. It's 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 like I said, effervescent. It's a little fruity. There's also like a little hint of like some kind of musk in the background that makes it a little bit heavier than I actually would have thought. That's interesting. I'm gonna get back to that one, but. We gotta talk about this presentation, guys. I'm obsessed with these boxes. I mean, y'all can see I have so many fragrances and I've kept almost all the boxes, but I'm gonna set this up in a bookshelf. Whenever I get my bookshelf, whenever that'll be, hopefully soon, I'm gonna set these up just like, well, just like this. So you can just pull out the fragrances and check them out because this is beautiful. Um, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's magnetic, closes, so that's really cool. So let's go through this one. Um, I don't remember the notes, I think it's Fig, myrrh, I, I don't think it's myrrh, it's fig cream and something else. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, but let's go ahead and check these out. You can see it's got the, if I can get to folks, you can see it says imaginary authors kind of on the cap. It's got a little weight to it. Um, I believe this is 15 milliliters for $30. Why is this thing so tight? There we go. Kind of screws off a little bit, um, but this looks really nice. So let's check out the actual atomizer. There we go. Wow, that's a good atomizer, okay. Woo. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, um, this thing is really tight, look at that. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Stay right there. It reminds me of Jazz Club. That's the first thing I think of when I smell this. Ignore my non-matching clothes. I didn't think I was gonna stand up for this one, but yeah, it smells like Jazz Club. That's 
That's really interesting. I do like this one, but the performance on me sucks. Um, I went, I got it under the impression it would last a long time. Um, that just goes to show with stuff like this, especially expensive ones. This, this one, this bottle was 135 bucks, so definitely get sample packs. Um, same with these. Um, yeah, this smells almost, not exactly. I don't think it's as sweet as Jazz Club is. It's not as boozy, but that's the first thing I think of whenever I spray this. Um, it just goes to show you really should stick with sample vials. Um, Imaginary Author does a great job of getting sample vials and um, travel atomizers like this. But yeah, it's it's not, it's like a less boozy, more fruity Jazz Club. At least that's what I get off first impressions. It's sweet, but it's, it's not, uh, how do I say this? It's not a girly sweet. I think this is perfectly unisex and same with yesterday's or I said says with uh, sun drunk I think it's perfectly unisex so far keeping up that trend which is dope but yeah it, it smells like jazz club that's interesting I didn't expect that um, definitely sample these before you buy them if you're thinking about it um, but we'll get back to that one in a bit but let's talk about the main event falling into the sea so I don't believe this one got a ton of hype this is what it looks like in the box I, I don't think it got a ton of hype when it was announced i didn't see too many videos but 99 percent of the videos i saw were praising this fragrance and speaking of stuff that comes with it you also get bookmarks like this um sun drunk and this is for falling into the sea i i've been reading a lot more so i really do appreciate getting these bookmarks i'm going to be using a lot of these um but look at this bottle this is beautiful artwork and I don't know if this has been mentioned in any re other reviews, but the, the actual covering is like textured. I don't know if you can tell, it almost looks like leather. You can't see it. It's textured kind of like leather or some kind of like faux leather. And it's it's super cool. Um, cap is just like the other ones. It's like really tight. I don't know why. It's like a really snug fit. Um, but yeah, this is falling into the sea. I can read you the notes real quick. We got lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lychee, tropical flowers, and warm sand listed right there on the back which i think is super convenient especially for reviewers and fragrance people like me so let's go ahead and check this one out let's see if my blind buy was warranted wow okay oh it's leaking a little bit interesting i leak my bottle leaked a tiny bit it's okay close that so initially it smelled like flowers like some kind of like the tropical flowers it, it's flowery Wow, that is not what I'm expecting. It almost smells like a female Isi Miyake fragrance that I got my mom for Christmas. <laughs> so this one, off first impressions, leans a little feminine. But it's also different, and I have a feeling it's going to dry down to something a little bit sweeter. But it's very different. I did not expect that at all. Um, truth be told, I don't know what lychee smells like. It's, I think it's an Asian fruit, I believe, but I know what grapefruit, bergamot, and lemon smell like. And then warm sand, obviously, is the imaginary note. I have no idea what warm sand smells like, but it's sweet. It's sweet, flowery. Uh, I would hesitate to say it's a full female fragrance. I, I think I'd feel comfortable wearing this. I know some guys probably would be a little bit turned off by something like this, but it definitely smells like tropical paradise it, it, it when i smell this i instantly think of colorful flowers sitting on the beach in my my swimsuit just watching the water roll onto the beach it it smells tropical and i i believe that's obviously what he was going for i do get some of that lemon lemon bergamot mix it, it's a little musky and effervescent which is nice but the main thing i'm getting is mostly those flowers and I like it. I don't really have any floral fragrances. I don't have a lot with rose. So this is nice addition to collection. Um, I'm actually kind of glad I got it in a full bottle because I do like it. All first impressions. It's definitely different than anything that I have. Oh yeah, I think people would like this. Um, like I said, a little feminine. This might be the first one I've gotten, ironically, that leans a little bit more feminine than masculine. But I mean, if you're confident in your own skin, I think you'll be okay. But let's go back to the other one. So sun drunk. Oh, it changed a lot. Wow. Okay. So see that that muskiness is like completely gone. It's just straight citrus now. It still smells like 
oranges to me, but not like not like Precious Liquids mandarin orange, like orange mixed with something, something a little bit sweeter in the background. I'm thinking that's that rhubarb, which is super nice. So that one smells a lot better on dry down, like I thought. And yesterday's haze dried down, not as sweet, which is weird. I thought it was gonna be sweeter, but it still smells like a less boozy version of Jazz Club to my nose personally. Um, don't take my advice on that. Get sample vials if you think, uh, if, you, if you're interested in it. For all of these, um, there are sample vials for all of them, so please do that ahead of time. While they aren't the most expensive fragrance, I still recommend you do that. I like this a lot. Now that it's drying down, that lemon is popping out more of those flowery notes that make it the slightest bit more feminine than masculine are starting to fade away slowly. So I think that, that that's it's gonna be more um, unisex in the end result, but so far, I like it a lot. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this right now if I get this, uh, this, when they say snug fit, this is a real snug fit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear that. Ah, uh, sprayed in my eye. Atomizer is really good. I sprayed it in my mouth a little bit, that's okay. So yeah, those are my first impressions of Falling Into The Sea, Yesterday's Haze, and Sun Drunk. If you like that, please like and subscribe and comment which you want me to go over next. Um, I try to get a few more samples of the fragrances I wasn't able to get from the collection. I do want to get full, more full bottles of these. Um, some of them were sold out, which I'm guessing is a good thing. That means they're popular, but I will try to get those soon. And with that, you fragment out.